Hello, this time gonna introduce most spectacular food in Spain. This is print review. This time I'm gonna share the most spectacular food that we tried in Spain. First, <laughs> I wanna show our hotel. This is a five-star hotel. It's quite nice, but just like typical hotel like everywhere. I thought Barcelona will be a little bit different. Okay, let's start our food tour. Start with tapas. We walk in randomly, order the fried anchovy and fried caramani. Also, a local beer is all very nice. Seafood is a special thing in Spain. And also, paella. This first meal in Barcelona really cheers us up and surprised us. So, we feel very excited to try more food in Spain. And this is the breakfast from hotel. Of course, the hen and the blood uh, sausage is all very typical. And another thing is the uh, hot chocolate and the cello. What's that? Cello, chocolate. That's the way to eat it? Yeah, you dip it in the cello. Yeah, you dip it in the Good. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> of course, not too, bad. Right? I was expecting too much. It looks not that thick. Yeah, chocolate. it needs to get thicker chocolate. Uh, sure? We are on the way to restaurants. The first one is already full, so we're finding another one. Are you sure we're gonna eat here? <laughs> How you got there? Oh, I get here by foot. <laughs> really recommend this restaurant. It's very local. And we finally got a table there. So this is what it look inside. It's 3 p.m. So it's what exactly what Spanish lunchtime. It's very cloudy. This is, I think it's the last two or last table in there. I'm very surprised their lunch started this late and take it very slowly. Anyway, I like it. Took our wine, start with the fried plant. The size looks not bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see, you can see there. Second layer. And I arrange it very good. <laughs> And have you seen this kind of food? It's called grilled cacos. It's one kind of green onions and it's only in Spain. They even have a cacos festival in January. At that time still in season, so they recommend us to take it as a starter. It's quite a big starter, I could say. I think they use a strong fire to grill it and lock the juice inside. Tastes sweet and juicy. And the dipping sauce has vinegar, so it's sour and sweet. Then I understand why they recommend this as a starter. 
Please try it if you see it on the menu when you're in Spain. It's my main dish, salted cod, tender and fresh. The seafood in Spain is always fresh. I know it. This land reef need twelve hours to cook. The roast meat and stew meat is also one of the special dishes in Spain. And let's try this one. It looks nice, and I already smell the lamb, very strong. <laughs> My camera is a little not focused. Mm. Oh, that's the ball. Mm. Nice. Oh, it's awful. Very clean. Very clean ball. Yeah. What's the flavor? Lamb. Lamb. Mm. Oh, it's very hot inside. Yeah, the chocolate. Ice cream. Is there chocolate? I guess it's ice cream and chocolate. Yeah, the chocolate one. Yeah, it's good. This is a very famous food market in Barcelona, but I think it's a little bit too tourist. This is the first place, first bar we sit down. It's famous and popular, so when we get there, most of their food already sold out. We only order two dishes. Start with the beer. First one is not that special, mm, normal. And this is the special one, garbanzo with the blood sausage. And then we just jump to the another restaurant, randomly order some dishes, like this uh, fried small octopus, it's quite nice too. I think these three items is just like the classic tapas. Let's have a walk and digest a little bit and we have a reservation for a Michelin recommend restaurant. It's quite nice, very creative. We have a classic cost, so 60 euro per person and it's very worth it. I think you should try. Started from the anchovy is with orange and olive. Surprise! Very nice. Second one is the very crispy roast duck croquet. Very dark. The third course is just like a drawing. Very beautiful. This color and is a fresh shroom. 
very sweet with the avocado match. This is only artichoke, but it tastes really like just you eating the chicken wings. Oh. Oh. Okay, I thought you can, but. Oh. Wireless rubber. What you taste? Me? Very good. Is this potato? Potato. Uh, oh, yes, you can. Oh, it's gonna be very fat. I know. Try it. Try it. Fat. How's it? Fat. You don't get much taste out of it. But yeah, you should go scoop it. This is lamb, right? Yeah. Smells good. Yeah, that's the. It's funny. Yeah, that is. Okay, What's that smell? Oh, see. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Very soft. Stew. They do lamb stew here, like yesterday, right? Yeah. I prefer not that soft. Good. Good. Very much like yesterday, but very good. <laughs> Similar, huh? One bite. Good. Strawberry. Probably the best chocolate shopper I've had. Cheesecake and what? Cheesecake. Uh -huh. Cheesecake. Uh -huh. Some Philippines. Looks good. In Madrid, we saw many hand stores like this. You can drink the beer and then order your hand. They will cut in front of you. Very fresh. There's uh, many people lining up for a uh, chocolate. I heard this is very famous. But we already know there will be a better one. So we just save it and didn't light up. And this is the better one. Cafe Ariano. In the front is a bakery, and then you can enjoy the breakfast in the back side. We walk in, sit down, and we got this French toast with our order. This is one of their famous items, and of course, we are here to try this hot chocolate. It's very different from the hotel and it's very chocolate, very thick and not like too sweet so I really like it Second breakfast, hand store. Iberico de Berota. This is the most expensive in the store. It's good because you can taste a little bit nuts flavor from the ham. This kind because the Iberian pit eat the acorn. So this hand is different from normal kind. You also can try nuts, I cheese, and they will offer the free sausage too. If you plan to go to the main square in Madrid, you can go to this Caramani sandwich store. It's very good and cheap, only 3.5 euro. Full of Caramani and salty, crispy with beer and walk around. It's nice. Our next 
Chinese restaurant is near the Royal Palace of Madrid. Remember this purple building is in the first floor. We sitting outside and we can see the palace from our table. Oh, what's that? Oh, is that Rudolph? No, it's baby heel. Oh. Baby heels, octopus, and Abby. I made it through my video too. Say it again. Regalitos de Torito. Mm -hmm. Means filo dough filled with bull's tail and pepper. Crispy outside and very soft inside. Never know that we can cook the oxtail like this. Nice. This is Casatoni, a local tapas restaurant in Madrid. Inside, you can see all this decoration. Looks very old and history. It's very crowded. I say not just tourists, it's most of them are local people. And we order two dishes. One is the grilled pig ears and another is the grilled sweet bread. These are the spectacular food that we ate in Spain. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.